tacky and I hate you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It's hot. Yeah. Alright, that was something. Cool. Thanks. I don't know what we got. Is that okay? Was I any think, of that okay? I think there's a lot to there's work a lot with. To pull from. <laughs>
We wanna we wanna grow the bottom line. We all do. But, but it's not a realistic plan. No, and the government does not move at a three months pace, not even a six months pace. So and what what can you do differently? Well, it's why BD people burn out so quickly too, they right? Do. Or why they get fired or let go and why you'll see somebody hop from company to company to company. Number four. Yeah, uh, your BD people are not properly incentivized. Why does it matter? Money, money, money! Money! You don't have a plan in place to actually incentivize these folks to go out and sell. It's really hard in government contracting to set an incentive plan. Because it's such a unique industry, because things push right, sometimes it's not your fault, right? So that's hard. So what kind of incentives can you put in place? Or what kind of plan can you build around that's actually manageable? You know, you're actually setting expectations. We want to get in a portfolio, a new portfolio, which is a new agency. You know, start by subcontracting, start by teaming, see if you change in FTEs, like make an FTE count number, or maybe, hey, we want to get on this schedule or something. Set an actual reasonable metric, an incentive for that, you know, then should always be money. Everyone likes money. I mean, here's a hot tip. Your plans should be actionable. Weird. With metrics? Amazing. But you should actually think about making your own performance requirements summary and actually making that up so everything's actionable for your team. When it comes down to the actual relationship management aspect of business development, you have to incentivize properly. You have to get them out there. You have to make an actionable plan every day that says, hey, here are the metrics. Get back to the basics with them and just make it easy. Give them a comms plan. Put a cash bonus up against that or something and call it a day. But keep in mind the whole time the different acquisition lifecycle timeline. Don't also penalize your BD people. Incentivize them without penalizing them. This is a different type of industry that runs it on a different type of timeline. And rather than trying to change that and speed that up, we just need to work better within that process as well. Absolutely. You know, we started this because we know it's not enough just to sit here and bitch about the problems in our industry. We also need to come together and try to think of some solutions. And that's where we need you all. So why don't we get together and have a little chat, a little conversation, a little fireside chat. I don't think they have fire at East Coast out there. <laughs> there is a fireplace. <laughs> Never mind. What we do want is for you guys to come out and have an open forum conversation about the ways that you guys have implemented approaches to fix some of the problems that we brought up today. So come to Eastern Foundry and talk to us about how you are being impacted by these problems or how you found solutions to these problems because all of us working together makes the world a better place. It's so beautiful. Well, that's our show. Thank you guys so much for joining us here today for the first ever episode of The Shred. Yeah. You want to say anything? No, it's good. Okay. I don't need to say anything. Okay. What do I need to say? I don't know. Like it's like sister act, just without singing or nuns. <laughs>